All right, it's time to get in the press box with me, Olympia D, Chris Jenkins, and we got special guests in the studio, DJ Stacy Black. What's going on, man? man? No, no wings, no Kool Aid. No <laughs> I know that's what I'm talking about. Where the food at, Chris? I agree. I'm the guest. No oh crown rolls. Crown okay. roll. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, you guys know the big playoff game is coming down this yes. Saturday. Seattle Seahawks, uh-huh. Carolina Panthers. Chris, you're the expert. Are we ready? Oh Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're definitely ready. I saw Cam Newton yesterday looking more focused and mm. more business-like than ever before. I talked to him after the press conference. He's like, it's just business. He's I told holding him everybody that. accountable for mm-hmm. it. I told All him that. Other, you told, told him that? Yeah, you know, a little pillow talk. <laughs> he looked he look real, look real confident last game, you know, coming out. So, yeah, he's a leader. He's got to do it. Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of people are focusing off of uh, Philly Brown's injury as well. And so is he going to play this Saturday? Philly, I think he will not play because Mm -hmm. one thing about Philly, he's he's a smaller guy. Okay. And so his his injury, they haven't said specifically what it is, but it's in his shoulder Mm -hmm. and it's healing. But the coach said that what he wants to make sure about is that he can protect himself, meaning if he gets hit or if he's trying to block, is Mm -hmm. his shoulder going to pop back out of place? Oh, and Mm so I so it popped out of place. Hey, that's a good conclusion to come yeah. to. He looked, he looked pretty serious when he, when he went down. <laughs> looked real bad, so really? hopefully it'll be all right. All right, so here's my question. If he doesn't play, is it going to hurt the team? I think so, because one thing since he's been playing – is that he has that deep ball threat. Now, it hadn't been as consistent as everybody might want it to be where they're hitting these 40, 50 yarders, Mm -hmm. but you have to respect it once they do it. You bring him out, and now people can crowd Kelvin, which I think they're already Mm -hmm. doing. His stats are going down as far as his, you know, in the beginning of the season, he could easily have a 100-yard game. I don't think he's had one in the Mm -hmm. past four or five weeks. For real. Yeah, we we definitely need Philly out there. The threat that he brings is once he catches the ball, he he's good for another ten yards after the catch. So yeah, we need him out there. Mm-hmm. And then once you take him out, okay, who's the substitute? Brenton exactly. Burson. He's mm-hmm. a good possession kind of receiver. They say, but he's not super fast. Yeah, we need that dude, man. They talked about Joe Webb being in his position because he is fast. You know, he caught Devin Hester in that NFC, not NFC playoff, but the last game of the season when they played against Atlanta. I saw that. that touchdown. So he's yeah. fast, yeah. but he hadn't had the reps as a wide receiver mm-hmm. that I think would help him to be able to get open against. I mean, if it was just an ordinary defense, maybe, but they're talking about Richard Sherman, these other great guys that are top-notch people. So I don't think it's going to happen. All right. So now let's talk about DBs. What's the deal with him? About our defensive back? Yeah, can he handle the pressure? He well, walked into the shot. <laughs> That's our engineer. <laughs> he it's walked into all the shots. He doesn't cold, care. Cold beer field. <laughs> cold beer. Where's the cold beer, dude? <laughs> yeah, for our defensive backs, we have we have rookies starting at our defensive back. So the question is, will these guys still be able to step up and handle a playoff atmosphere in Seattle? And I really think they have one thing that they talk about is they're young and dumb. They don't know any better. So the big stage won't uh, <laughs> fear you because you don't know about it. So uh-huh. if you look at it, have they have they not played perfectly on? They, they did real well, well the last four games. They really stepped it up. So it's going to be a true test, man. I think if they can hold a quarterback, uh, what's his name? Uh, Russ, you got an artist. Russ, I, 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 can't remember, I can never Hold remember on, that, that quarterback name. <laughs> no, it ain't the Dreads. I'm saying for What's real? Seattle's quarterback name, Russell man? Wilson. He's from yeah. North Carolina, right? Yeah, I, I should have known that. But, I mean, that's our main, That's my main concern. Can the defense hold down Russell Westbrook? Russell. You can't let, it, let him get Westbrook run. Westbrook is Come the on now. basketball player. What did I say? He don't know what he's What's talking his about. Russell, <laughs> Russell Wilson. <laughs> Russell Wilson, whatever. <laughs> the guy you right. bad as me. <laughs> if they can contain the quarterback, keep him back there in the pocket, but I think we got a chance with, with Luke Kegley, you know. Yeah, I think it just hinges on, again, if those defensive backs are able to stay with the wide receiver. Like just hold them down for a little while and let our defensive players get to the backfield. We'll be all right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, they can't let him get back there for two seconds and start throwing. We're going to be in trouble. Okay. Now, everybody's yeah. talking about Cam Newton and this legend of doom. Legend of boom. Boom? <laughs> yeah. Boom and doom. I told you we need some, dr- <laughs> we need some drinks up in here. Where are the drinks? <laughs> We've been drinking. It's too we tense dry. in here. We're real dry right no now. No wings, no <laughs> chips, no potato salad, no nothing. We, we tense right now. <laughs> well, the legend of boom. Yeah, yeah, first go. of all, hold on. Right. What is that? Because I'm reading off your sheet. You told oh, so me to say that. Blame it on me. The legend of doom is the cartoon characters, right? <laughs> of Marvel. Call- <laughs> they call their defense the Legion of Boom. Oh, my bad. Because when they play, they bring that 
Boom. Uh, right. All <laughs> there you go. So, <laughs> Libby just worry about the cute players. That's, all that's right. The it. cuties on cute. the field. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the best butt. <laughs> so well, what about it? It could, it could, you know, I look at this game as a very winnable game for Carolina. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think where it definitely could get out of control is if Cam does start to take some throws downfield. He's he's an inconsistent thrower. Okay. So if Cam starts to throw a little high, throw a little left, which he's known to do, that's a defense that you don't have that margin there. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> that margin she there. hungry. I am. My Where are all the wings, man? <laughs> you can't have us in here talking and we don't have no food. Yeah. Okay, we, we're going to have a wing sponsor. If they make if they, if they make it past this week, we're going to get us a wing sponsor. <laughs> all right, so check this out. Everybody is kind of debating whether Williams should start over Stewart. What's your best bet on that situation? Williams versus Stewart should start. I don't know why Coach Rivera, there's been rumors that D'Angelo Williams has some kind of ego. So the coach wants to massage that ego and make sure he starts, even though Ooh. he ain't going to get all the plays. Yeah. I hope at this Sometimes point. Sometimes you got to feed the beast. Sometimes you got to yeah, feed the beast. You do, you do. When you yeah. know you got a beast, you got to feed the you beast to get what you want out of the beast. Yeah, so, I agree. You know, you got to feed that ego. So I, I hope it, at this point that. Um, Stewart will continue to start, and Williams will just get some carries. I don't think Coach anymore can go to try to stroke his ego and have him start. Mm-hmm. Um, unless, again, he starts and comes right back out and he gives Stewart most of the carries. So okay. that's what I hope for. They're both good, though. You know, They're both pretty good. Okay. All but right, so. I got some Twitter questions. What kind of Twitter questions do you have? You you, got, you, we, got, we got some time still? We got. Yeah, got you, you were holding back on me. I'm sorry. I'm you sorry. trying to drag me all out. No, I ain't trying to do that to you. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna pick one here. What do you, well, we already got on this one, kind of. What do you think the impact of Philly playing versus not playing? We kind of covered that, right? Yeah, we did cover that. We covered. And that. I, I don't remember what you said, but you said something. Yeah, we Another thing we need to do: we need to get in that red zone and get seven points instead of three. Oh yeah. Every time I turn the TV on, they down there in the eight yard line, and we get three points. So you think Riverboat is no longer Riverboat? He, he hasn't gambled. I never. Se- <laughs> I haven't seen him gamble this year. Mm. So you say don't we no, should have? No, we got those. that tie game. We should have went and got went for that victory. I haven't seen uh, any any gambling on his behalf. I mean, yeah, he kind of had that tendency last game as well. He had a chance where he could have went for a field goal, but he punted. Yeah, and, but his, I haven't seen it. Yeah, I agree. He he needs to. This is a game where you definitely have to gamble if you're going to gamble. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, maybe he's been doing it because he wants to keep his job. But <laughs> this this game, he's got to throw something out there, man. Some trick plays and and quick quick going for those field goals with one yard left on the on the first downs. Right. I mean, you got to do it, man. Go ahead and. Throw that thing in the end zone. But what do you think about trick play wise? They've been using Philly Brown for some kind of read yeah. option kind of plays, They're even though he's hurt. He, he's mm-hmm. really the only fast scat back we got out there, other than D'Angelo. So hopefully Philly Philly will be better, man. We got, we need that dude, man. <laughs> right. I might change my feelings on what happens if Philly doesn't play. So I guess it really boils down to what do they really need in order to win this game on Saturday against to Seattle? win the game. The secondary needs to play like they've been playing. Okay. Um, Offense has been a very solid force. Our offense isn't explosive. They're kind of a ball control, just run the ball, uh, keep the clock going. Mm-hmm. So I would go to say our biggest thing is Cam Newton limiting his mistakes. If Cam can just, mm-hmm. as they say, uh, what do they say, control the game and not make a mistake, I forget the, the term, but uh-huh. if he can just play a solid game, then I feel like we have an excellent chance to win. I okay. Agree. I agree. All right, so give me some point spreads. What you think? Point spreads? Yeah, Ooh. you got to give me some point spreads. I think it's going to be in the 20s. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at maybe 21 to 24, 21, 28. Okay. I don't think it's going to be no high scoring game. Not unless the defensive bees, defensive backs go back to their old ways. <laughs> it might not be good for us, bro. Ran over. Real quick. <laughs> but if Cam plays solid, I agree, and the defensive backs step up, we're going to be all right. Yeah. Okay. We got a legitimate chance of winning this thing. All right. Well, about the spread, I know this. What's up? That uh, Mike Tober said that he hopes the defense is pissed off that it's an 11 point spread early in the season. Mm. And he's happy he ain't going to be on the field during that moment because he, he expects some mad men out there. Okay. So mm. the team thinks the spread is a little high. Okay. You, know, you know what I need else to happen? I need for the Dallas Cowboys to beat Green Bay. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll put us against Dallas in the NFC Championship. Let me right? tell you, those Dallas Cowboy fans, I saw a few of them last night. Oh, they're serious. Oh, they're, they're crazy. serious. They're mm. crazy. <laughs> Shouts out to Kirk and I 
going to go to Jared. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know his name, but every time I see him, that's what I'm going to go to Jared. <laughs> no doubt, man. All hey, right, so what's up? As we round, I'm going to hit these real quick. I think we've got like a minute left. I'm going to try to answer these Twitter questions. Uh-huh. ESPN claims that Cam has re-injured his surgically repaired ankle. Is that true? I ain't heard mm. anything about that. Um, I know it got stepped on last game. Really? In practice, he looked fine. So he's so tough, I don't think it's going to matter. Whatever it was, he's he's focused. But yeah, he's at that point right now because I was watching the press conference on TV this morning and he's like laser focused. Yeah. He looked like, good. He looked confident last game. That first quarter, man, he had that fire in his eye. He's ready. Mm-hmm. Next mm-hmm. one, uh, Kelvin Benjamin. Is he poised to have a big day because he's been a non-factor lately? Mm. Mm, I think that's just a result of teams being able to adjust for him. Yeah. I think he's just going to... You know, be average for lack of better words. He might get a big play, but if Philly's out, I think it's going to make tougher for him. All right. Uh, defensive end Frank Alexander, will he be active this weekend? We don't know. And that's it. That's I it. I want to get through those real quick from the fans. All right, we're well, cool, Bet. So you're going to be at the game. I will not be at the game this week. Well, you at least be at some some viewing parties, right? I will be on Twitter, on Instagram. (laughs) I will be talking to a player after the game to call in and uh, make you guys feel like I was there to keep you up to date. That's such a fake. (laughs) (laughs) And next time, bring some wings, man. We need a sponsor. Anybody out there that's got access to wings, restaurants, we need sponsors, man. I do wings, too. Mm Mm-hmm. Chicken wings. <laughs> Spicy. Just don't do Buffalo. the macaroni and cheese. You know what? You lied do on me. Do not bring that you macaroni lied and on cheese. Me. <laughs> <laughs> All over social media. But look, Carolina Panthers and also Seattle Seahawks this Saturday, 8 p.m. game. Let's Legion go, Panthers. Legion of Doom. <laughs> <laughs> and wings. Wings, man. That's the word for the day. Wings. <laughs> it's old school with 05.3. And in the press box with Olympia D, Chris Jenkins, and also DJ Stacey. Blackman.